Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. It's great to have you here on our YouTube page or over at the blog at zcodesystem.com. And today we're going to take a look at the upcoming match day two in the K League in South Korea. Last week, the league kicked off finally after having a few months to prepare at downtime due to the COVID 19 pandemic. And the league started off with a bang. And we saw the top two teams from last season both pick up victories. That was Ulsan as well as John Book. John Book with a big win over rival Suwon Blue Wings. 1-0 win there, courtesy of Lee Dong-gook getting a header in the second half. And Ulsan picking up a big win over Sangju Sangmu, 4-0. Now, this week, those teams are all in action. Uh, six big games going on over the course of Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th of May in South Korea. Now, we've already profiled this weekend's Bundesliga return. You can find that over at our blog at zcodesystem.com backslash blog, or you can go over to our YouTube page, or if you're already here, you can just go and click on that and get some picks for this weekend's Bundesliga return, which is going to be huge. I'll be watching, and I can't wait. I've already got my bets in for this weekend. Now, guys, if you're watching here on YouTube and you like what you see, please go down and click on that thumbs up, give us a like, and as well, subscribe to the channel so you can get updates from Z Code System every time we post a video. We have videos for all kinds of sports, whether it be soccer and when they return, basketball, baseball, uh, NFL, all the big sports that are going on. When they return, you will be getting our picks and our videos right then and there. Now, let's get on to this weekend's K-League action where I am going to talk to you about a couple of games coming up this weekend. And of course, if you want to, you can always go over and get uh, some of the stats and tidbits we have over at the blog. And of course, the VIP club is where you can get all of this great information that I'm going to share with you right now about not only all the games that I talk about, but all the games going on on the peninsula in Korea, whether that's the K-League 1 and 2 or the Bundesliga. So head on over there, sign up and get all of the latest information and use all of the great tools that we have here, uh, including the head-to-head -head the power rankings, the uh, Vitality Oscillator. So many great tools, including the Z Code System Soccer Buddy tool, which I'll show you at the very end of this video. And I will show you with the two games that I'm going to uh, profile in this uh, video today here on YouTube. Now, let's just scroll down and we're going to pick our first match coming up this weekend, the 16th of May. And I'm going to go with this weekend uh, a game between Gangwon and Sangju Sangmu. Now, Gangwon will be on the road in this game. Sangju, uh, who we talked about uh, last week, and I believe the week before, this is a team that I have said, you are going to want to bet against this team more often than you bet for them. This is a team who has already been relegated to the K-League 2. Now, how is that possible after just two games being played in the league? Well, they are going to be relocating after this season. They've already accepted that they are going to uh, be relegated because of this relocation. Now, because of this relegation that's already pending, this is a team of players who have nothing to play for. The only thing they have to play for is personal pride and to hopefully put themselves in the shop window for another club. Now, another reason why to bet against Sangju Sangmu is because this is a team made up of the military. These are players, uh, if you're not familiar, South Korea has a mandatory two-year minimum that all males must serve in the military. Now, the team is made up of professional football players, but these are called together from all the clubs around Korea and put onto the team because uh, these are the players who are serving their mandatory two years. So this isn't necessarily the most cohesive team. This isn't necessarily the best team. They've got some good players, yes, some good pieces, but overall... This isn't one of the better teams in the league. So my advice, bet against Sangju more than you bet with them. And I'm saying this weekend, go with Gangwon to win away. And that 2-1 scoreline does look pretty appealing. Gangwon won last weekend against FC. So they came from behind, were down a goal in the first half, and they defeated 
FC. So the high powered money uh, FC. So three to one coming from behind. Now, last weekend, we here or me personally on Z code system, uh, I was two for three in my picks uh, in the K league. The gang one FC soul game was the only one I didn't get correct. But I guess you could say for half of that first half, I did get it correct. And if you were able to cash out uh, an accumulator with the three picks that I had in that first half after FC soul took the lead, then you probably got yourself a nice little bit of pocket money. So uh, I'm going gang one on this one. I like that two one score line right there. Uh, I think that gang one are uh, they are guilty of giving up goals at times. They did give up quite a few last season. And I think they will be giving up a goal to Sangju. Sangju, although they were beaten 4-0 last weekend by Ulsan, they did show some bright points. Uh, they, they, they kept possession well. Uh, they created some chances, but Ulsan were just too tough for them. I think this is going to be maybe a little bit more evenly matched, but Gangwon are going to come away with the win on this one. So I'm backing Gangwon on this. And of course, going against Sangju, Sangmu, because of all the things I said previously. All right, let's look at our second game this weekend, and I'm going to profile uh, a game between, and it's going to be between John Book and Busan. Now, John Book is a team I profiled last week, and I said that they were going to beat the Suwon Blue Wings, and yes, they did do that with a second half header. Now, that game was, I won't, I guess you could say, cagey. Uh, Suwon sat back, tried to soak up the pressure. And uh, we're very defensive. Suwon was very poor overall in attack. And uh, although it did look like it was going to go to a, a nil-nil draw, John Book were able to pull off a win with a late corner from Lee Dong Gook, a uh, header from a corner by Lee Dong Gook. Busan, they lost last weekend. Uh, they fell to Pohang Steelers 2-0. Now, Busan just came up from the K-League 2. They were promoted at the end of last season. So, they don't necessarily have the talent out there uh, on that team to compete at a high level in the K-League 1. I am backing John Book on this one. They are a fantastic team. They have a very good manager in Jose Morias. This is a manager who was the assistant to Jose Mourinho uh, when Jose was at Chelsea and Inter Milan and Real Madrid. So he has an excellent uh, pedigree and background in football management. And I think he is going to lead John Book to a victory here. 2-1, uh, you know, Busan should get some uh, home comforts. There's not going to be any fans, of course, behind closed doors, but playing at home should help them. I think they could crack a goal here. Uh, they were held scoreless last weekend, uh, and John Book did play really good defensively. So, uh, you know, I think they can get a goal against John Book, maybe push them a bit, uh, but definitely the Green Warriors are going to come away with a victory here. Now, remember, John Book did win the K-League last season, and if my memory is correct, they've won five of the last six K-League 1 titles. So this is a team that you should definitely be backing more times than not. While you're not backing St. Jude, you're betting against them, you're going to want to be betting on John Book to get wins most of the time. Now, that said, um, this is going to be a great weekend of action. There's going to be four other games going on, three on Saturday, three on Sunday. And just before I go today, I want to take you over to one of our other great tools at Z Code System that you can use if you sign up, and that is the Soccer Buddy tool. And you can use this to help you make educated sports betting investments on not only uh, the K League, but all the soccer leagues that are going on this weekend. So if you want to check it out for the Bundesliga, then go over there and do that. So let's take a look at that right now, the Soccer Buddy tool. So here we have the Soccer Buddy tool. And... All you have to do is put in your correct date. So we've got May 16th, and I've selected my league, the K League. And what we can do here is we scroll through, and as you can see, you can see three games right there. So you get an extra little pick there for the Saturday game, that Pohang versus Daegu game. And uh, I do actually like Pohang for that. Pohang, not too bad of a team right there. Uh, but you get all of this great uh, information and stats going into this. Uh, the Soccer Buddy app or uh, system here, program, uh, it takes all of this data from the K-League. It takes all of this data, thousands of data points, and it puts it into to the algorithms, and it creates these predictions. So as you can see here, we've got our score prediction. We've got our uh, over-unders, the percentage, uh, the percentage of 2.5 goals, 1.5 goals, uh, both teams to score. So 
We've got all of these different um, data points and stats to help you make educated bets on your football matches this weekend. And if I just click up here on hot trends, you can see uh, some of the hot trends. So I can just draw your attention here to this. We have uh, five of six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Gangwon in their last six games. So you might want to get on to that for this weekend. And uh, you can, like I said, you can find some value bets as well. Uh, value bets with Gangwon and that Sangju game, as well as Pohang and Daegu. So definitely a tool that you should check out and give a go to uh, before you make your bets and your investments this weekend. Now, I already told you this weekend, I'm going with John Book and Gang Wan to pick up victories. And you know what? I do fancy that Pohang to uh, get a victory there uh, against Daegu away, but that's just me. Now, guys, good luck this weekend with your K-League betting and go and look at our video for the Bundesliga and its return. And if you want to have a go with that, you can get our picks for the Bundesliga's return. Three great picks there. We hope you have a great weekend of watching football as it comes back to us slowly but surely and hopefully more sports in the coming weeks coming back to us from around the world. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you're getting updates all the time. And also please do comment down below and let us know what you want to see, what teams you want to have previewed possibly next week. You want to hear about another game um, and we can help you with that. So let us know what you want to see, what to hear, and what you like. And, guys, good luck. We will see you next week. Good luck with your uh, K-League betting again, and uh, we'll see you soon.